Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, come take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my Lord. Even so, even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, will you come Yeshua, come. Go ahead and worship him in prayer. Even so. Come and take your bride away How my soul Longs to see your face My Lord Even so Even so Come Yeshua, come Nina Kawo Yabo Just express your heart to the Lord. Fix your gaze on Jesus. Thank Him for His mercy. Thank Him for His love. The wonder working power of Jesus in the midst of His people. We owe you our lives, oh God, and we owe you our gratitude. From the rising of the sun, even till the going down of the same, we declare that the name of the Lord alone be glorified. 
Shala baruza zia makato brahas kada balanda kete balashi. Sharas kabaruza barianda kala brandi gedia. We extol you, Lion of the tribe of Judah, mighty God. Sera sobari gado shali brandi gedia. Tarara, tarara. It's a realm of your glory, it's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels With God's glory on the wings And like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy Committed to creating the atmosphere for your presence to be made manifest. Don't be tired. These are the kinds of spirit interactions that bring power. We bless you. Go ahead and worship him. Offer unto him the cows of your lips, a sacrifice of praise, a declaration of worship. You mean this much to us, oh God. As individuals and as a ministry, you mean this much. Who but you is able to lift a man? Who but you is able to bless? Unless you open our eyes, we cannot see. Unless you quicken our ears, we cannot hear. Unless you grant us understanding, we cannot comprehend. Spirit of the living God, this is your atmosphere created by hunger, sponsored by passion, maintained by commitment. Bless him in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, sing in the spirit. Alabaranda Capracadosa Lacato, 
do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit. In Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Making melody in your heart to the Lord. Just play something, just soak in that glory. Something. Just play minors, not, not this. Just be still for a minute. I'm teaching you something. It's a culture, it's a training. There are times that when you worship, you just need to be quiet. Then you let him speak. He will speak in pictures, he will speak in words, he will speak by moving your understanding. This is how we interact. These are the mysteries of the secret place. Just let him speak. It's more than an impartation. It's him speaking back to you. Don't change the sounds, guys. Be sensitive. You were playing something else. Let him speak to your spirit. That's why you came. 
you think it's just an impartation but it's not an impartation it's the power of his voice upon your spirit man answers coming from heaven answers coming from heaven now arise O oh lord don't sing with me would you come to your resting place you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness we celebrate your love just be silent and soak in that presence For your name is holy, you're so holy, holy are you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 From the rising of the sun Right until it's going down Just be still, we will sing Of the mercies of the Lord We will preach Of the favor of the Lord We will shout Of the goodness of the Lord we will speak of the power of the Lord. Just be still and know. Believe me, make no mistake to allow the devil make you think you are wasting your time. You are getting more than a sermon. This is koinonia. It's an interaction of the spirit. A quickening. Your weakness being changed by his strength. Mm. Holy fire burn upon my altar. From within me, spirit to take over. Holy fire burn upon my altar. Holy fire burn upon my altar. From within me, Spirit to take over, holy fire burn upon my altar, holy fire, holy fire, holy fire burn upon my altar. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. From within me, spirit to take over. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. Elados, 
Let the weight of your glory fall Let it cover all the earth The Spirit of the Lord is mighty in this place Let the weight of your glory fall It's bringing healing, healing The healing anointing is strong in this place Incurable diseases Under the atmosphere of his Shekinah Salamaranda katos, shalakatos, taking away weaknesses, taking away yokes and burdens. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Beauty for ashes, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. A few minutes and you'll be seated. I'm taking away burdens. The Spirit of the Lord is speaking. Taking away burden. He's rolling away the reproach of your past. Rolling away the reproach of your past. The Spirit of the Lord is rolling away the reproach of your past. That this proverb will no longer be used in your life. Shalabaranda gadabalakotosiadai. The Lord is rolling away reproach. Tears, physical tears are coming out of my eyes. And the Lord is saying this is the captivity of a family being rolled away. Rolled away. I'm sensing the burden of a family. A family that has been under captivity. And the Lord is saying in this season he's rolling it away. Rolling it away. This is the cry of the spirit. Just let God do what he's doing. Let it be rolled away, O oh God. Let it be rolled away, O oh God. Let it be rolled away, O oh God. The cry of a family coming to the ears of the Savior, the Redeemer. He's rolling it away. A widespread plague of sickness. A widespread plague of failure. A widespread plague of death in His presence. Mighty, mighty presence. Resting on everything that is not the Christ. Hello, I don't know you Hello, give you Everything you are God and God by yourself. You reign, you reign, hello, you, you reign, you reign, you reign, I don't you reign, your majesty. Your majesty, your majesty, your 
majesty. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing an activation of the gift of the Spirit. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing dormant spiritual investments finding expression. Graces that were once in use and for some reason just went down. It's like there is an opening in the Spirit and suddenly I'm seeing gifts being activated. The word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the deciding of spirit, revelatory gifts being activated by the spirit of the Lord. Being activated by the spirit of the Lord. You see, what this session is doing is it is killing the flesh. The flesh hates what is happening. This is one of the ways that the flesh is crucified by exposing the flesh to the light of his power. It's an uncomfortable position for the flesh. Just a few minutes and you'll be seated. This is not the making of a man. It's the Holy Ghost doing something to your spirit, man. Ashalando Sara Sobra Haskede Balash. There are some of you, the Lord is giving you new tongues, new prayer languages, new tongues, new tongues, new tongues, new tongues. He's giving you new tongues, new tongues. You will no longer pray like you have prayed before. A new language, a new frequency in the spirit. This is what is happening. I'm seeing coals of fire being put upon the tongues of people. New tongues. New tongues. That's what the Spirit of the Lord is revealing to me. New tongues. Utterances of the Spirit. Utterances you have never heard before. Utterances you have never known before. Some of you, they will start right here at Koinonia. And for others, it will be at your secret place. Some it will be at your prayer group. Just fix your eyes upon Jesus for the next one or two minutes. Yeah. The oil of favor, the oil of favor, the oil of favor, the oil of favor. I hear this in my spirit. I echo it and I hear it in my spirit. The oil of favor. 
the oil of favor Lord let it flow like a river everywhere within this building everywhere within the overflows online the oil of favor that you will be drenched and you will be soaked in this oil leaving this service with a realm of extraordinary fruitfulness by the favor of God hallelujah just close your eyes if you can just focus on Jesus one minute please don't be distracted whether whatever is happening around you is none of your business just be focused hear what he says to you hear what he says to you about your life hear what he says to you about your relationship with him hear what he says to you about your family hear what he says to you about the solution hear what he says to you hear what he says to you about the pain hear what he says to you about your ministry you can trust what you are hearing now you can trust what you are hearing now it can be the devil speaking to you not after this atmosphere you can trust what you are hearing now for some of you he's saying I am still God I am still God in spite of all that has happened in your life I am still God I am still God I am still God you have come too far to doubt I am still God I am still God Spirit of the living God evermore we desire you you have called this place koinonia a place of your presence a place of victory a place of renewal a place of revival a place of restoration restoration of fire restoration of hunger restoration of grace restoration of patterns restoration of covenants we pray tonight that Jesus and him alone be glorified in this place and father I pray if this is all you do tonight we are more than grateful for giving us an experience that shifts us to realms unimagined this is what separates us from noisemakers this is the factor of the spirit evermore spirit of the living god this remains your place evermore evermore replace any man as you will and as you wish shift us to whatever direction we are that malleable we pray that as men look at men they will not see men but they will see Jesus in the midst of the lampstands, in the midst of the candle stands. We are giving ourselves wholly to this because we know that our profiting 
will appear unto all. We're tapping, oh God, into the ancient mysteries that you taught our fathers. You taught they that went ahead of us that when men stay in your presence, they can renew their strength like the eagle. They can mount up with wings. They can run and not be tired. They can walk and not be weary. We exchange our weaknesses tonight with your strength. We exchange our frustrations. We exchange our limitations. We exchange our pain. We exchange our fears. We exchange our doubts. We exchange our confusions. Because worship is a place of exchange. More than a place of reception. Let everything that is not you in us leave us. Let everything that is not you in us be exited out of our lives. Let everything that is not you in us leave. And let that space be filled experientially with more of you. More of your light. More of your power. More of your wisdom. A deeper hunger for fellowship. More than ministry. More than preaching. More than leadership. More than prosperity. More than fame. More than money. May we desire you. Remain the object of our pursuit. Remain the object of our passion. Remain the jurisdiction of our pursuit. Mercy, mercy. Thank you, Father. We bless you, we honor you, and we worship you. Forever be glorified. This is Koinonia. You have called it by its name. You have engraced it by understanding. Let this place remain a tabernacle of your presence. You can do without us. But please carry us along. There are infinite replacements. But we pray by the mercies of the God of heaven. Let this place remain a center where your eyes continue to behold. Let this place remain a place of mysteries. Let this place remain a place of encounters. Let this place remain a place of miracles, signs, wonders. Let this place remain a place of bread, Bethel. Understanding the richness, the abundance of your supplies. Let this be the wealthy place. The place where you exchange our limitations for the supplies of heaven. Let this place remain the place where men meet with God we vow that forever you will be glorified we vow that forever we will only lift up the anthem of your name we hide behind the cross we hide our flesh we hide every personal agenda and we pray that Jesus and him alone will be seen experienced unknown thank you father thank you for your atmosphere in the name of jesus christ amen please sit quietly if you can god bless you whoa Just help those under the anointing. 
very powerful time. Very, very powerful time. Every once in a while, God will show up in these dimensions. Those under the anointing, just help them. Just keep them somewhere quiet. Hallelujah. A few minutes with us tonight, and then we will pray. I want to encourage everyone to continue to press towards the things of God. Um, it's very easy to be distracted in this kingdom. It's very easy to lose focus, to major on the minors. Let's settle down, please, those inside, outside, and minor on the majors. But God brings us here to help us even by his spirit. I want to share with you something very briefly that I believe is very powerful and very instructive and then we'll have the opportunity to pray. If you're with me, please say amen. amen. It's a revelation that God put in my heart. It's for koinonia, but then it's for the body of Christ and I believe that the Lord will help us tonight. Why prophecies fail? Please write. And let's discuss within a few minutes a very powerful understanding that God gave me. Why prophecies fail? First Timothy chapter 1, please and verse 18 believers continue to struggle with the tragedy of unfulfilled please listen please listen unfulfilled prophecies praise the lord The Lord is speaking to someone in overflow one. It will not happen as you have seen. I don't know what I'm saying, but the Lord is just asking me to speak it just like that. It will not happen as you have seen. I believe that tonight's um, message may be why the anointing is moving in this dimension. It will not happen as you have seen. It will not happen as you have seen. It will not happen as you have seen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So many believers continue to battle with unfulfilled prophecies. Here and there, men and women of God all over the world continue to speak the counsel of God, the word of God to individuals. But then we notice that people receive these prophecies and most now, let me tell you sincerely, most of the prophecies we receive never come to pass. And tonight is an attempt to very quickly show us what may be wrong. And then also to reveal to us the place of the prophetic. Listen very carefully. And the place of the word of God. Because there are people for instance who have seen things in visions in dreams or have received prophetic words from anointed people genuine people filled with the holy spirit and these prophecies may not have been consistent with the dealings of god some of them may have been negative prophecies and they have remained helpless believing that just because a man anointed by god accredited by god made a pronouncement and utterance to them it meant that nothing could be done about it and then they sit down and allow those prophecies happen so we're dealing with the prophetic today and i pray that god will grant us understanding so let's go very quickly our time is gone read with me verse 18 everyone want to read this charge i commit unto thee son timothy uh-huh according to the prophecies which went before on thee that thou were a good warfare stop there paul is speaking to his son in the gospel timothy and he's saying that some prophecies 
were released to go ahead of you. Now, understand what he's saying. He's encouraging him. He's saying, Mr. Man, be assured of this. That we have released prophetic words to go ahead of you. But he tells him that by them, those prophecies that have gone ahead of you, you will war a good warfare. Hallelujah. So it is possible that prophetic words can be sent ahead of a person. Please listen very carefully. Whether in ministry, in family life, business, career, whatever it is, that the prophetic is real. Now, let me balance this up front even before we continue our discussion. There are people here and there who probably because of their religious affiliations, their denominations, or the kind and the structure of mentorship they may have received may have been trained by well-meaning sincere men and women of god to ignore or despise the prophetic to despise prophecy we find people some persons have been very vocal about the fact that the prophetic is not useful in today's church and all versions of sarcasm has been communicated as regards the prophetic the Bible says very clearly, and I think that I will just um, solve that once and for all. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 20, let the word of God speak once and for all. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 20. If you're a Christian, please read with me. One, two, read. Despise not prophesying. One more time. This is a warning. Do not despise prophesying. Do not despise the place of the prophetic in your journey to knowing God and living a meaningful life. That means that the Bible recognizes that there is a place for the prophetic. Okay? So we establish that up front that there is a place for the prophetic. And the Bible says to not despise it. That means that if you find yourself in an environment where yourself or the leaders around you continue to despise prophesying, you don't have to fight anybody, you don't have to create trouble, but let it be a settled conviction within you that in the journey of a believer, there is a place, listen carefully, there is a place for the prophetic. There is a place for prophesying. Are we together? When it comes to the prophetic, the Bible lets us know that even scripture is prophecy. Do you agree with me? Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 19, please. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. It says we have also a more sure word of prophecy. When you read in context coming down, you will know that he was speaking about scripture as a more sure word of prophecy. It says whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. Now listen very carefully. So he's telling you that there are prophesyings that have to do with the speakings of men under the influence of the holy spirit are we together he's telling you that there is another kind of prophesying that is the revelation as captured in scripture he says to also take heed as well so do not despise the prophesyings that has to do with the speakings of men and that you do not despise the prophesying that has to do with the authority of scripture the prophecy of scripture we call it are we together now yes the character of these two dimensions of prophetic operations are not the same please listen very very carefully so the bible is prophetic the words that are written in scripture are prophetic the words that are spoken by a man under the influence of the spirit of god to you real time is also prophetic 
but in terms of superiority please listen they are not all the same although engineered by the spirit of god the bible lets us know please look at me that the prophecy of scripture and the prophecy that comes from a vessel they are all together to the edifying of the saints but they do not hold the same weight in the spirit you have to learn this the word more sure means more reliable more dependable are we together it attempts to show you the excellency of the prophecy of scripture that means that if given an option for both of them, the Bible gives you its recommendation in terms of reliability and certainty. It tells you to depend on the prophecy that comes from scripture. Are we together? There are many reasons for this and that's, that's, not, that's not where I'm going tonight. My goal is to show you why prophecies fail and then to connect a few things and we'll pray. The Bible in many expressions tells us that scripture has been tried seven times the word seven there means complete that the truths of scripture have been vetted again and again and has been found reliable listen the bible is not the only book that contains pieces of the wisdom of god listen carefully here and there God has dealt with people. Here and there, different religions have tapped into the wisdom of God through the understanding of his principles. And they have captured details that are consistent with God's operation. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Chances are that you can pick a book that is non-Christian. You can pick any religious book on earth and read it and you will find communications that are consistent with the way god would have spoken and how god would have acted and the results even in those books show you that the agency that supplied that result was not of the devil it's not an endorsement to the books the advantage of the bible is that as a singular compendium it contains the wisest perspective in all matters are we together now Listen very carefully now. It contains the wisest perspective. Why? Because they are God's opinion. Among all of the books that have been arrayed for the edification of man, the Bible, as a compendium of 66 books, has been recommended by the Spirit of God that it can guide men to know God. It can guide men to become victorious. When you study theology, you will find out that there are many other books. They are generally called extra-biblical texts. There is what we call the annals of the king. There's what we call the Dead Sea Scrolls. There's what we call the books of Jasha. All of these books are extra-biblical materials that were written. Are we together now? But then in the wisdom of God and through his predeterminate counsel, he has found out that the truths contained in this compendium we call the Bible is sufficient to be the limit of the jurisdiction of your knowing God. You will find many books that contain certain information that may not be captured here. And God is telling you within the context of your civilization, any knowledge about me that is not in this volume is not required for life and godliness in as much as you're working with me is concerned. So the Bible becomes the coordinates, if you allow me to use that word. The Bible becomes the defining jurisdiction for your knowing God. Listen very carefully. I'm showing you the reasons why the word of God is called a more sure word of prophecy. God has vetted the truths here and found out that any believer that settles with scripture as contained in this book, under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there is no dimension of God required for your knowledge that the truths here 
in partnership with the Holy Spirit cannot bring you into. So it's called the more sure word. It has predicted your life already. More than any man can predict. More than any man can prophesy. Are you getting what I'm telling you now? The vessel that speaks to you is limited by many factors. Number one, the accuracy of his or her perception. Number two, the accuracy of his or her interpretation. Number three, the atmosphere that became the influence upon which he spoke. Are we together? Number four, the level of renewal of that vessel as at the time he spoke. All of these are factors all together that can interrupt the purity and the quality of the speakings. It doesn't mean the person is fake. These are the things that water down the efficacy of the prophetic. Are we together? And then the mental development of that prophet or that speaker also matters. Chances are that if naturally speaking, I'm a person that detests excellence. If God is giving me a prophetic word that relates to excellence, my, my prior fortitude for trivializing excellence will make that prophetic word not come with the gravity with which it left heaven. Because in my person, I don't find excellence to be something that is needed. If I'm someone, for instance, who does not believe finance and prosperity is useful, are we together? If a prophetic word comes that God is going to make Sam a millionaire. Remember, I've trained myself to be embarrassed to even talk of millionaire because I've interpreted it as carnality. Chances are that I would just say you are going to be blessed. You see that now. So the efficacy of that prophetic word was corrupted by the limitation of my spiritual understanding. But then let's assume, for instance, that I was accurate enough to deliver it, to be fair enough, and you now receive it. Now, remember, I'm not fake. Remember, I'm anointed. Remember, you too, you are not fake. You see that now? Yes. The giver and the believer have to be real for it to work. So, we agree that two of us are not fake. Are we together? And now you receive that word. And then... It never comes to pass. And you go back to God and say, Lord, what happened? I got a prophetic word by a man of God. And according to the word, he said, by June, I will have a car. Remember, he called my name. It was accurate. He called the name of my wife. It was accurate. Every other detail was accurate. So it supported my believing him. Yet it did not happen. I even fell down. You can add it. And it didn't happen. He prophesied to me that as I return back, my ministry will expand. He described in detail my ministry. Called the name. Called everything. I went back and after five years were worse than even before I came for that consultation. What is the reason? Why do prophecies fail? This is a question that even men of God, apostles and prophets themselves, have not seemed to find an answer to. So usually, as men, the obvious answer is to transfer blames. So I come to you and I say, it has to be your fault. You didn't have faith. You didn't believe me. My track record is there to show. And then the other person says, well, I may have my track record, but I don't know what happened to you as at the time you are speaking to me. I know that it was not God. And then we read scriptures like God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. Are we together now? When you read these scriptures, it further confuses you. Because you are now looking and saying, that means that it is within God's power to bring his word to pass. The reason why many people are confused over spiritual things is because we don't read our Bibles. We listen to people. But we don't study scripture. We do morning devotions. We listen to messages online. Profitable and wonderful. 
but we don't stay with scripture for the purpose of building understanding building conviction so most of our convictions are outsourced and borrowed our convictions are hardly intrinsic something that came as a result of a revelation given by god most of our convictions are outsourced we borrow the confidence of someone we respect just because the person said this is it we say this is it too why do prophecies fail hallelujah are we blessed so many people have relaxed and crossed their legs so many people have even written the prophetic words that were spoken unto them barren women have received prophecies you will have a child and it's five years gone no child sick people in the hospital receive prophetic words do you have a loved one in the hospital yes sir is he sick yes sir about to die yes sir thus saith the lord he shall not die isaiah 38 mighty god we give you praise give us understanding and be glorified isaiah chapter 38 in those days look up please was hezekiah sick unto death and isaiah the prophet isaiah the what the son of amos came unto him and said help me read Thus saith the Lord. Stop there. So we agree that it was not the speakings of Isaiah. Thus saith who? The Lord. Set thy house in order. Why? For thou shalt die and not live. Don't call anybody fake again because the prophecy is negative. Who spoke negative here? Thus saith who now? Talk to me. I mean, we're Christians. Don't just begin to the man was a vessel i brought you jumia package you opened it and saw a gun and you arrest no you, you don't i i was sent i'm a messenger thus saith the lord set your house in order he says for thou shalt die who are you going to beg who will you beg to help you beg god that god sends a prophet and he speaks put your house in order you are going to die verse 2 then hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto who <laughs> he turned and prayed unto the lord verse 3 and said remember now O lord i beseech thee how i have walked before thee in sanctify them by thy truth thy word is truth and with a perfect heart and i have done that which is good in thy sight and hezekiah wept so verse 4 then then hold on the first time he said thus say it the lord now he's saying the word of the lord came to isaiah saying verse 5 go and say to hezekiah thus saith the lord the god of david thy father i have heard thy prayer i have seen thy tears behold i will add unto thy days 15 years listen what was wrong oh god with your understanding couldn't you see the end from the beginning again? You sent a prophet with your reputation on him. And within minutes, prophecies changed. This is a discussion between God and a man. 
a man goes to God and says, God, what did I hear that you said? You said I'm going to die. Let me do something to you that will make you change your own word. Please listen. I have added now 15 days to your, to your years, verse 6. And I will deliver thee and this city from the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. Next verse. We are reading to verse 8. And this shall be a sign from the Lord that what you now hear is more superior than what you had before. Because the both for and against me came from God. So why, which one should I believe? Remember, thus saith the Lord before came from God. Thus saith the Lord now also came from God. You have kept me in limbo. And God is saying, I will give you a sign. To show you which is superior. Please go back. Verse 7. Verse 7. That the Lord will do this thing that he has spoken. Which one? Which one didn't he speak? <laughs> Verse 8. Behold... I will bring again the shadow of the degrees which is gone down in the sun this and that and that backwards so the sun returned 10 degrees by which degrees it was gone down he gave him a sign so by the time the guy saw the sun going down he said ah this sign was tied to the second prophecy and based on it I know now and I have confidence that something I have done has made God to override the first prophecy. There is now, let me tell you some interesting things here. Number one, God never admitted he made a mistake. So it was not a mistake. God is, ah, sorry, is it you? Uh, 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 Isaiah, you know how busy I am. I have to speak to this and that. No. God acted as if he didn't talk before. L listen to this. He would have said, okay, go back and say, it's okay, it's okay. No, you don't need to cry. I'm God. Am I still not your father? He just changed as if he's not the one. Imagine if you were that prophet. It's as if God just denied you now and left you in trouble. Imagine if Isaiah came to your church. If um, who? Hezekiah came to your church. Miracle service. And you now prophesied. And said, this is what I see. Oh. The same way it moved from positive to negative. I can also stand in the name of the Lord and prophesy to you that by next week, five of you will be in America. And by next week, one person is in jail. The other person is in the hospital. And you will come back and say, Mr. Man, come and arrest this man because he is fake. Between the first prophecy and the second prophecy, man did something. Listen to me very carefully. Between the first speaking of God and what he changed, man did something. That means between a positive prophecy and a negative one that happens, there is man in between that does something that can turn prophecy. Please listen to me and learn this. All personal prophecies, write it down please. All personal prophecies spoken by any servant of God. All. All personal prophecies spoken by any servant of God have conditions that must be adhered to for their actualization. All prophecies. There is no prophecy spoken by any man of God on earth that happens on his own. Are we together? Listen. The prophecy of scripture is a revelation 
of the preset principles of God that has already been attached to his speakings. Notice, notice how the construction of scripture is. For every speaking of God, there is a condition. Are you seeing that now? The moment you satisfy that condition, there are some of them you don't even have to pray. The moment you satisfy that condition, it happens. Are we together now? Look at this. I don't need to speak to your ground, your farm, and say in the name of Jesus, except I'm not a man of God. Corn, you must come out this year. No. Already a word had been sent while the earth remains. Seed time and harvest. That means if I never sow, I will not know whether that word is still valid or not. So my sowing gives the word an opportunity to prove itself and then it grows. That the word of God is more sure because already for everything God says, the principle to actualize it has been added. As a man of God, I can receive prophecy for you and not be able to be aligned enough to receive the principle that makes that prophecy come to pass. I can tell you God is going to lift you, but the limitation of my prophetic reception does not allow me to tell you what you must do to make that prophecy come to pass. So I just tell you, this is what I see. You are great. The word of God says, this is what you must do. You are great too. Choose which of the two. That if you never meet a physical man who speaks to you, you can go to Jesus the prophet. I am the way, the truth, and life. Jesus the prophet. And look at a scripture and lift that scripture as Jesus speaking to you and say, Jesus, I hear you. I've heard you say to me that it shall come to pass if I diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to observe and do all that you command me this day that you will set me on high above all the nations of the earth and that these blessings will come upon me and overtake me. There is no witch in hell. Hear me. If you prophesy to me and say, Apostle, I see failure. You are not wrong. But I, have, I know that there is a more sure word of prophecy. For as long as I walk in keeping with what Jesus the prophet said, there is no divination and there is no enchantment from the pit of hell that can override the authority. In the cadre of authority, the prophecy of scripture stands superior to any human prophecy. Men of God and women of God are gradually pushing prophecy outside of the jurisdiction of his relevance. And members are today becoming slaves to men and women of God. A man seems to be able to own the souls of people because you can just speak to anybody anyhow. And they go back saying, this one has spoken. Apostle Joshua Selman has spoken. No. No. Prophecies can fail to the negative or to the positive. I can speak to you and say God will bless you. You will eat well. Don't obey the principles of scripture that make for increase and you will be surprised. When men say there is a casting down, you will join them and say there is a casting down. Why? Because you violated the principle. There is no truth of scripture salvation is the freest thing we know and the condition is that if thou shalt believe with thy heart talk to me koinonia and thou shalt confess with your mouth that means you can stand around a preacher and he can preach a powerful sermon and you will still go to hell you had the word but you still went to hell this action part this condition part is why many prophecies fail. The prophet spoke in scripture that a virgin shall be with child. He didn't say a virgin called Mary. He said a virgin. There were many women who qualified for that prophecy. But one woman aligned herself enough. So the angel came to say, Madam, 
we have found you favored and i've taught you that favor does not happen automatically mary was understudied from heaven there were many other ladies but heaven looked at mary does she sustain please help them does she sustain the character will mary be able to stand the embarrassment of getting pregnant from a ghost the way mary is if pressure is too much are you sure she's not going to corner joseph and run away is this woman is she liable to receiving a bribe from a rabbi mary was not just favored she was studied her alignment was making her partner with prophecy are you getting what i'm saying now and then the angel came back and said mary we have found you favored and the favor is that based on our examination you are the most fit person among the virgins here to carry jesus she said well um i don't want to abort prophecy how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and then the angel explained that okay this is what will happen you will not need to meet a man the holy spirit is going to come upon you your stomach will just start bulging out don't find it strange don't do anything don't shout don't worry it's okay and she said be it unto me be the word unto me i received the word be it unto me according to your word mary would have sat down and said no this deal is not fair the ghost has to come with you and explain to me and let me understand if i see him and i think he's really a spirit and that do you know it would have delayed the birth of jesus heaven would have had to now go back and start looking for another person again Are you getting what i'm saying now this is very powerful so god has spoken great things over our lives many of us received the word we didn't receive the conditions we left the conditions on the ground when we fell down we got up we received the word but we left the conditions as a result our lives are a shadow of what god said should be because we received the word but did not receive the conditions. The angel comes and tells Joshua that this city will be defeated, but then he gives him the conditions immediately and demands that the conditions be adhered to in total. So he began to go around Jericho once every day. The seventh day he went seven times and they shouted and prophecy came to pass. There is no prophecy that happens on its own. There are few prophecies in the Bible that are called written judgments. There are verdicts already that have been declared. One of it is the eternal doom of Lucifer. There is no prayer retreat. That will happen to beg God to change his mind about the condition of Satan. So if you have a dream and you see Satan coming back in heaven to join the seraphs. You know straight up that you are under attack. Because based on the truth of scripture written. It's a written judgment. Are we together? Another written judgment the eternal doom of those who reject christ the antichrist and his cohorts these things are written the only thing you can do is to exempt yourself from it but you cannot stop it number three the reality of causes and yokes on earth is written ordinances were intentionally put the only thing you can you can't stop causes on the earth no they are there the only thing you can do is exempt yourself from it. You can say minus me and my family. But to say minus it out of the earth. No sir. It is not given to you. You can cast out demons from your life. From a church. From your vicinity. But not from the earth. There is nobody who will stand and gather all the demons on earth. Because he said I behold I give you power. Remember scripture. Power. So I have that authority. I've been risen with Christ above all thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. You gather all the demons in one place, catch them, 
and let there be peace on earth. No, that does not happen. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. The number one reason why prophecies do not come to pass is because people receive the word but do not receive the condition. The condition for actualizing the prophecies. The other side of this is that you can change any prophecy. Write it down, please. Don't let anybody tell you there are prophetic words that will not change and cannot change. That is against the character of scripture. The Bible shows us again and again that it is within the power of a believer to change prophecies. That means if your father looks at you and says you are cursed, you are a foolish and stupid son. I know a woman, years ago when I was in secondary school, there was a woman who was tired of her son stealing. She will make her little money and this naughty boy will come and carry continue to fish the money out of the, the mother's wallet and one day she was angry and she looked at him and cursed him she said he will stop stealing only when rats stop stealing let me tell you this guy as soon as he's going out of the cell he won't reach two weeks he's back again they know him. they just open the door there's nothing to ask what happened mm -mm. just walk in we know do you think that boy does not have a way out imagine that that boy is in a place where he never meets a man who can speak to him is there hope for that boy yes sir there is jesus the prophet that he can look at it that even the lawful captives is it in your bible a more sure word of prophecy even the lawful captives can be delivered so you can find this truth and believe it but you just get up and say, wow, I found it. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I'm delivered. Hallelujah. You are not delivered. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You are only informed about deliverance that is possible. Are you seeing how we mock ourselves? We just find it out. Oh, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm done. And right after then, you will see what they say should happen. Happen. There are conditions. What made the captive lawfully captive? And what is the condition for that person to be delivered? The biggest hit of this prophetic inaccuracy is in the area of financial prosperity. Many poor people in the church today, the years they have spent waiting for prophecy is the same time they would have activated the blessings of God upon their lives. They have sat down lazily and carelessly and some foolishly waiting for a prophetic word by an accurate man. And members continue to harass men of God around and say, you have spoken, it's not working. I bless you. I bless you. You are correct. But you go and read and study everything the Bible says about the blessing. How it works and how it is activated. And you'll find out that many people are hoping in futility. It's true. Charismatics. This is where charismatics have failed. The excitement that comes with revelation has swallowed up the need for compliance. People just jump here and there. Things will happen. He shall keep the imperfect peace. Yes. Yes. And no evil shall come nigh thy dwelling. You go and look for trouble and see what happens. It will look as if angels are no longer there. So what happens? I, I get what I'm saying now. Yes. You can choose to end your life now, today, right now. You go and stand, you go and stand on the road. Let me be prophesying. In Jesus' name, you will live long. I stand under the oil God has given me. While you stroll foolishly, you use your will that is more powerful. That's the same will that brought Jesus into your heart. Jesus stood at the gate of your heart and would not enter until that will let him in. And you stand in front of a door and a truck. The spirit of death is an opportunist. He looks for a scenario that makes his ministry possible. So he's scouting around Zaria and here he finds someone about to stand near a T-junction carelessly. 
he will heighten the drunkenness of the driver and with speed he will not see you he will come and clear you you are dead now resurrection is a different law altogether we can now start but as far as that seed is concerned you are dead hallelujah let me tell you something that happened to a young man i'm sure he may be listening or maybe he's here it's a big mistake that the boy made he had some carryovers and um he saw me in a dream <laughs> according to him i appeared in a dream and i told him i said everything is all right now watch this now everything is all right very consistent with what god will say <laughs> are we together the same way God looks at the poor and says, let the poor say, I am rich. They said, I'm rich till they became old. Nothing happened. <laughs> and then the gentleman got up and didn't even do anything. He refused to take the carryovers, refused to do anything. And he just sat down and he called me and was sending text messages and was telling me, look, I'm not trying to jeer the gentleman. No, not at all. I'm just trying to use it to correct. Now, you see, that word was at the mercy of a condition. Are we together now? Is it not when your lecturer sees your script? Now, you have done your own part to at least write. The Spirit of God can now move upon that man to show you mercy. Mercy is not possible now because the condition to activate the mercy was not granted. The same way the Bible says that you will build houses and you keep looking at your land, that house will not be built. Someone will look at you and say, speak to me. Say, I, I, the same thing I told you last year is what God is showing me again. The day you take a step of faith and you buy sharp sand, one tipper, and pour there by faith, what happens? That's your five loaf and two fish. You are ready for a miracle. A destiny helper can now come and say, what's going on here? Say, I'm, I'm starting life. Or I'm pushing this thing by faith. Say, really, come to my office tomorrow. Now, your obedience has allowed prophecy to find expression. Are we together? Yes. Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children surround your table. You will see your children's children. You are a bad gentleman and you are a bad lady. God will never, that prophecy will never come to pass. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are many guys that just cross their legs. I saw myself. I saw my children. I saw a jeep here. I saw a resort center here. You are dreaming. Let me tell you this. Prophecy will never come to pass because God demands diligence and productivity for wealth to happen. You have ignored that law. And so that prophecy will never come to pass. Are we together? Your marriage will be a blessing if you know what it takes for a husband and a wife to live together. If the only thing you take to your marriage is prophecy, you are in trouble. You must take understanding. You must take what? Understanding. So that when your wife shouts and says, I hate you, I hate you, I hate the day I married you, you just know that she doesn't mean what she's saying. If you carry that, that straight line, prophetic thinking and slap her, that's the end of that marriage. In spite of the fact that the bible says you will see your children's children prophecies can fail when men do not satisfy the conditions that make for the actualization of that prophecy it will fail the same way negative prophecies can be averted i've told you i've shared this with you once and again that people continue you know here and there people can have dreams about me over trips that i'm taking whether by road or by air and they can send the text and say apostle i got up i saw a very dangerous dream very dangerous dream and this is it and i saw a ghastly motor accident or i saw a plane crash and you are there now they are not fake truly it may be that that's the plot of the enemy it would be stupid for me to think satan is going on break for me no there are many people who think the devil is attacking them. The devil is not attacking them. Do you know what it takes for Satan to attack you? You to be honest, if you were Satan, will you attack everybody? It's not strategic. What have you done that justifies being attacked? 
the level of investment you think satan is making on you is 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 flattery most of what we are getting is the inertia of prophecy just sitting on your life and not moving because you have refused to do something about it take satan out of the earth people's condition will only improve a little only do what improve a little you will be surprised you will think if satan is taken out of the earth suddenly the poor will be rich suddenly you in fact let me tell you there are many people who that god uses the way the devil pushes them to help them understand god you will be surprised to see that some people's situation will be worse when satan is out because there's no basis for pain again to bring conviction Some of you right now are sitting down waiting for prophecies to happen by themselves. Some of our parents received prophecies since 1980, 1970 till today. That prophecy has not come to pass. And we continue to carry disappointment in our hearts. I am showing you right now, listen very carefully, that more than the speakings of any man, you must find a place there are many men of God who people will look and say, I see a grace on you. Say, yes, I, I, somebody has told me before, confirmation. I see that you will be a powerful man of God. Yes, sir. I'm seeing like Reinhard Bonke. I see Reinhard Bonke. The other one said that you will never be like Reinhard. Do you know what Reinhard Bonke did to be Reinhard Bonke? Talk about the times of prayer. Talk about the times of fasting. Listen to me. Talk about the times of engaging the word. Talk about the disciplines that it takes to host God's power. You ignore that there is no Reinhard Bonke for you. The worst, in fact, let me even take it a step further before we pray. The worst one is that hands were laid on you when prophecies came. And you just believe that because hands were laid and I fell down. I got up with conditions satisfied automatically. No, you were engraced by that falling. The real anointing for the result has not yet been given. That anointing for the result is waiting when your obedience is complete. That's when it comes on you. The anointing you received, I'm telling you, is the grace to walk in keeping with the conditions that bring that prophecy. Are we together? It's a simple message, but it will work wonders in your life. You will call your brother very quickly and say, sir, please come. I already know that this your journey is heading nowhere. Just sit down. Let us discuss. Why is this family like this? He said, don't worry. Prophecy just came last week. And you will know who to drive away from your house respectfully. By the time he comes again, singing all kinds of songs and saying, it does not work, Abi, let's walk again. Bring 200,000. Bring one chicken bring one bag of rice and then success will imaginarily happen no sir whether a man is fake or real the result in your life will be the same if you don't engage it did you hear what i said whether a prophet is fake or a prophet is real once there is no engaging the conditions that make for actualizing that prophecy your result i guarantee you will be the same it's why many people don't go to church. They went to a herbalist and the herbalist prophesied to them. And then they got born again and went to a real man of God. He prophesied to them. The result was the same, zero. And they said, I don't, there's no difference. There will not be difference because the defining factor is not God, not the prophets, but you, the recipient of that prophecy. If God tells you you are going to marry a multimillionaire, what are you supposed to do? Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving. But what, what do you do else where you finish Thanksgiving? You go back and start saying, God, help me. A millionaire means many people will hate him. A millionaire means that he may not have time to rest. A wise person begins to war with prophecy. You, God tells you now you will be a millionaire. How do you behave? Buy new clothes. No, sir. That's not how to conform to prophecy. You go back and follow them who through faith and patience. Once you don't see faith and patience, don't follow them. Even if you see the promise, you must see faith and patience to qualify followership. 
anybody you see the promise and you don't see faith meaning there must be a god equation in their life there must be something in their equation that forced them to need god are we blessed there are many things today that god has brought this ministry into that God did not directly prophesy to me. I'm not one of those men of God that will lie to you that everything we're seeing is what God... Mm -mm. There are things God did not tell me. I went to the word, Jesus, the prophet. I looked at the truths of scripture. I understood the truths of scripture. And I saw the conditions attached to it. Because the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I read and studied how Jesus increased in ministry. Jesus increased in ministry because he first increased in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. That means for anything to increase around you, something must increase within you. That's a revelation. So I don't move around with the brain of 50 members and the prayer request of 5,000 members. It doesn't work that way. I must upgrade myself spiritually, intellectually to be able to host the kind of increase that I trust God to bring. We only know that a crowd came to Jesus, but Jesus grew. At age 12, when his mates were running around, Jesus was at the temple learning, learning. Are we together? There were a few times in scripture where we saw Jesus around feasts. There were a few times in scripture where we saw Jesus just enjoying himself. That's the portrait of a serious man of God. You, God has called you into ministry. Every movie that comes out, you must see it and watch it. It's all right if you are called into the movie ministry. But if you are called into the word ministry with power and signs and wonders, that's too much luxury. To host the anointing. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you this. Sincerely, I, I tell you the truth as a man of God. I stand from the standpoint of the knowledge that God has given me. And I look at many people and respectfully I can tell you. There are people that results are far from them. I hate to be a bearer of bad news. But even when people stand for me to pray for them, I know that what I'm, I'm doing is not the final solution to that problem. And it is painful as a man of God. Not many people will tell you this truth. Because sometimes you see men of God who are victims of manipulating the ignorance of people. The ignorance of people can be used to the advantage of the man of God. There are times that people stand with seeds here sincerely. And I look at them and they say, Apostle, I just emptied my account and my heart is bleeding. What is this for now? He say, Apostle, I know things can turn around in my family. I know the answer is yes and no. Yes, a breakthrough can come. But sustainable financial open doors, no, sir. There are truths you must learn. So I tell the person, okay, go and get koinonia teachings there. And sometimes as I'm talking to them, they start shaking. The moment they fall, they stand up and just laugh. You see some of them calling their loved ones, it's done. No, it's not exactly done. Honestly. You see, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You must, you must, you must love God and love people to be dishonest. There are very successful people in this ministry, in business, career and so on and so forth every one of them can tell you the different units the different dimensions that construct themselves together to spell success were adhered to where the prophetic was needed they opened themselves to that dimension where prayer was needed they opened themselves where diligence was needed they opened themselves like the ingredients of a, of a meal everything was combined together to equal success this is what I'm teaching you. Handing over the responsibility of your destiny to the prophetic alone as the ultimate determinant of your success and not staying with the word of God to understand the conditions will end you in futility and in pain. There were many things that I did not see in my life in spite of 
the prophetic words I kept receiving. I had to study prophecy and say, look, I have to look at this thing and examine it very carefully. And I began to find out if thou shalt diligently, Deuteronomy 28, please give it to us. Deuteronomy 28, if thou shalt diligently hearken, look up please. This is prophecy, the correct approach to prophecy. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to what? Observe and to... Faith is not just hearing what God has said. Faith is doing what God says should be done to see that result. When the rich man came to Jesus, he said, Good master, what must I do to be saved? Apostle, the devourer is coming every time. I can't hold 10 naira like this. It's as if there's a bag. Now, let me tell you this. I can stand as a man of God. Please watch this. We're going to pray shortly. I can stand as a man of God and God can show me a revelation. I can look at, for instance, come Sam. It's looking sharp and smart. Now, watch this. You see how sharp and smart Sam is looking. Imagine that God opens my eyes. Now, the way prophetic things are interpreted, you have to be spiritual and be grounded in the word to interpret them properly. Because God will open my eyes now. Do you know what I will see? I will see this. I will see Sam holding a basket. And I will see water being poured in that basket and going down. That can be a template that God is showing me to mean that there is loss and wastage in his life. Are we together now? So he uses, because God speaks in pictures, the Bible calls it similitudes. It is not only words, God speaks in pictures. So when I see that now, watch this, I can say, ah, Sam, all that I see, your finance is going down. You say, yes, it's true. Everything going down, you say, yes. You don't cover that basket just with a prophetic word, no. Remember the going down of the finances is a product of many decisions that he is taking. So the real captivity is the financial decisions. His understanding about God's methodologies as far as increase is concerned. That affects and influences the decisions he is taking. That now authorizes this opportunist called the devourer to destroy him. So to really help Sam. After prophesying to him, I'll say, Sam, I need to show you the conditions provided for by scripture to stabilize your finance. Number one, let's look at the spiritual laws you are breaking. Number two, let's look at the understanding. Let's look at what you are doing. You are not producing anything. You are not, you are not diligent. You are not exchanging anything for value. Number two, your reputation is making you to make bad decisions that are above and beyond your financial level. Now, you are closing that door permanently. Remember that knowledge and wisdom are stabilizers of destiny. When Sam goes back now, number one, he will pray and rebuke that spirit. But number two, he has now received a dimension of intelligence that teaches him that patience is godly. Are we together? That teaches him that it is all right to move small in life. If all you have is a shoe of 300 naira, it is not a mockery on your reputation. An understanding you had before called it shame. What you have now received calls it process. Because of that now, when the devourer comes as usual, a fortification has been built through knowledge. Now the prophecy of Sam, God is changing your life, can now happen. Because favor can now come. A system of preservation has come. This is how Sam is warring with this prophecy. Otherwise, Sam can kneel down and say, Yes, sir, I will speak to him. The destiny helper will come and pour the same water into the same basket. So here's what happens in church. And I say this to churches and ministries like ours here that are apostolic and prophetic because many times we have little value for the exegesis of the word. Bringing understanding to the saints, bringing illumination because of the charismatism around the demonstration of the spirit and the prophetic. Many times we, we feel embarrassed even as, ma as men of God to settle down and mature believers through the teaching of the word. We would prefer 
to just begin to move imagine that i i i come here now and the power of god begins to break out i mean it's easy for you to see that this is that joshua selman you know the bible said this is that so when you bring a visitor you say i told you it will reach 10 minutes when he comes up you'll be flying I, you doubted me now you see it happening but sometimes when you sit down you see the way believers are embarrassed and ashamed when the word of god is taught you you see that each i need something when someone shouts they start laughing you know it just it's like it just eases up because many people do not want to grow we have taught that prophecy is a shortcut to destiny no prophecy is part of the requirements listen very carefully is part of the systems that were put by the wisdom of god for the building of the saints prophecy was not designed to replace obedience to god's set order if i give you a book and i say study this book on church growth and success and leadership and administration chances are you are going to throw that book away if i say come to me and i will receive just one touch how many touches one one touch you go back your cathedral will enter another dimension that prophecy will work if you have prepared your way like dotam before you come dotam prepared his way before the lord if you have prepared your way you have done your assignment oh with with jesus joy that oil will come and set your life in order Before the fire came, there was already a sacrifice prepared already. The fire would not come. The fire cannot come and be hanging in the air and say, oh, yeah, quickly prepare the sacrifice. You prepare the sacrifice first. There are some of you, the prophecy on your life requires a requisite level of transformation for it to come. And since your rate of change is slow, it will take a long time. So when you say, God help me, God says, I'm, I'm ready to do it today if you will change to that dimension. What do you understand about pastoring thousands of people? What do you understand about the diplomacy of conflict management? What do you understand about leadership and administration? What do you understand about finance? What do you understand about impact and influence? What do you understand about preparing sermons? What do you understand about, about giving people an expression? Growth. Just anoint me, oh God, don't worry about anything. Let me tell you what you will. You will produce a place with so many miracles that will depend on you. They will never be able to rise. This is the tragedy of the prophetic and the apostolic ministry. If I speak to you, Sam, and by tomorrow, someone gives Sam a house, a car, do you think next week Sam will come for Koinonia with speed? Sam will not even sit down there. He will sit down on the altar. Are you seeing that now? And then, the day, let's assume that this is a branch church. The day they now want to transfer me to go to the U.S., what do you think God will be telling Sam at that point? Sam will almost die that he had God. No. The emotional connect that comes by reason of the breakthrough he received through my life has made my voice look like the voice of God to him. And most often than not, God did not speak and tell him to go anywhere. He just examined the other replacement they brought. And the lazy nature of the man greeted the congregation. I said, no, I won't sit under this grace. Not at this strategic point of my life. And then he will get up and now begin to travel and go and meet me in the U.S. This guy's destiny has been wrongly attached to me. Are you seeing that now? To the point that this man can never know God by himself because the definition of christianity and breakthrough as proposed by me is that if you do not receive a prophetic word from me you are grounded you are dead you are finished my name is joshua selman and i'm telling you it's a lie if you take the word of god and believe it and walk within the principles that are kept in the word 
I repeat to you that no divination and no enchantment. If you are reading the word properly, there are places in the word that will lead you to go and look for men to pray for you. So you don't have to be afraid of being in error. Are we together? I continue to watch with frustration, sincerely speaking. As prophecies continue to be aborted in the lives of people. And they blame men of God and continue to make negative prophecies to come to pass in their lives. I told you respectfully so that in my entire paternal lineage, sincerely, I think aside from my dad, by the grace of God, I'm the most successful person. Entire draw the line from anywhere till this. Can you imagine that kind of thing? I saw the spirit of failure and poverty and hardship in my family. You can be the greatest of anything, but live long enough, you must be the least. When I saw it, number one, I didn't deny it. I knew that the, if you deny it, that's another delay you are causing for yourself. The quicker you admitted it, the, the, the better for you. Just sit down and look at it and say, ah, okay, this is it. I see that there is a problem here. But I made up my mind. I love the word of God. I found it too. I found it. See, I have set thee above thrones, dominions, above all of these things, every name that is named. I started seeing something here. Jesus, the prophet, started speaking to my destiny. And I had the foolishness to believe him. The childlikeness to believe him. I believed him so much so that I disbelieved every other thing I saw. And then the Holy Spirit guided me enough to know what are the conditions. What does it take to actualize this? And then he began to show me step by step. And I said, it may be painful, oh God. I may not be able to go through this myself, but supply the grace. And he says, my strength is perfected in your weakness. Look what he has done today. Apostle is lucky. They pray. I remember when they were prophesying that day. Was it not two of us? They prophesied over everybody in a meeting. That's what many people say. That's what many parents say. They look at many great men of God and say, ah, this guy, I, he was just lucky. I knew the meeting he got born again. The same altar call was made for everybody. One person responded, another person wished. Please make up your mind. Extraordinary fruitfulness will remain a dream. Did you hear what I said? There are people who are engaging with understanding and the results are showing. Extraordinary fruitfulness is not just it. Will, December will come and for many people they will find out that nothing like extraordinary fruitfulness happened. But if someone makes up his mind like Timothy, that I'm going to war a good warfare, prophecy has been sent ahead of me. Lord, what do I need to do? Show me. Your greatest prayer in this season can be, is not just show me your ways. Lord, show me the part I have to play. Show me. What do I have to do, oh God, to change my financial story? I've desired fresh oil. I have fasted and I have prayed. What is the key to the anointing? What is the key to a mighty supply of the spirit upon a man? I found out the key to keep the Holy Spirit close to a man. Because I knew that the nature of the ministry that God had committed to me would require a depth of intimacy. And I didn't want theory. Lord, show me. What keeps the Holy Spirit close to a man? Think of the risk that happens when he becomes far from you. And don't let nobody lie to you that he cannot be far from you. No. Huh. Spirit of the living God. I found him as the secret 
that he's an ever-present help in time of need. But what do I need to do as the recipient? Thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Let me tell you this, I trust God's way. One of the secrets of my life is that I trust the way of God. Most of us have allowed education, intellect, to corrupt the potency of the ways of God. I believe God. I believe God. I remember when the Lord gave instructions here for miracle service. Foolishly and childishly. I did it. Everything he says to do, you do. When God declares anything here, we go after him foolishly. I remember a Jimmy's here, he would tell you, when the Lord said to put some of the koinonia messages online, audio, audio message that is not very clear. People online, those of you who are social media experts know that people cannot spend two hours listening to something. They don't have that time. You break it into sections and someone sits down for two hours 30 minutes listening to volumes and volumes of a message my brothers and my sisters it is not let me tell you 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 will be shocked at the power of god that is released and the energy that prophecy carries when you align with it show me a man who has received a word from a prophet of god or has received a word from scripture and obtained grace from God to understand the requirements and do it. I show you a man who you're speaking against, you're cursing against, you're wishing against. It's a waste of time. My confidence today in life and in ministry is on my determination to keep doing the things that allow to host the presence of God. My confidence today is to keep doing the things that continue to bring increase in my life and in the ministry. That way you can stand and beat your chest under God and know you have entered your Sabbath. Satan can come. Challenges can come. But you are as assured of victory as you are assured of Christ sitting on his throne. My life has no fear. I sincerely mean it because I have found out. I found how to commit God. You commit God in the affairs of your life by obtaining grace to know what to do. Jesus himself knew what to do. Buy the ingredients for jollof rice and bring somebody who does not know how to mix them. You have potential for rice. That's prophecy. But that rice will never, never be prepared there. At best, you are going to have nonsense prepared at rice. But then bring somebody who has taken out time to learn how to prepare rice. And then bring the ingredients. And within a short time, as short as an hour, you will see a delicious pot or plate of rice. God is not withholding financial blessings from you. The word has come. If nobody ever spoke it to you, scripture has already told you. God is not withholding increase and influence from you. Something about your not understanding his ways may be responsible. The irresponsibility of allowing prophecy work itself, thinking it is spiritual, is very dangerous. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. But when Jesus walked upon the earth, they tried to distract him. And he said, no, 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 no. My meat is to do the will of him that has sent me. Jesus had an option to abort salvation. When he was at Gethsemane, he cried and prayed. Can you take this cup off me? But he said, nevertheless, my will, not my will, but yours be done. And when he took that cross, it was not an angel carrying it. He was carrying it, feeling the weight. The moment he wanted to throw it, he remembered. He remembered. Man will not be grafted through me to be seated. I, 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 if I throw this now, I cannot call many sons to glory. Let me tell you this and I confess to you. 
there were times in my life when I would be walking through the night and sometimes I would just stop and a joy of the spirit will come over me because I saw the days coming I knew that they were days of joy and rest and no pain at that point sustained an ability to interrupt my focus I knew I was trying to know the Holy Spirit knowing the Holy Spirit is hard sometimes you want to sleep and he will just tell you to stroll you will think you are going to pray for one hour and you will just return to six in the morning it's the price while I am doing that someone is seen in a vision that a young man is going to arise from the north and he will carry the word and the life and the power of Jesus that prophecy can remain in the realm of the spirit when you do not partner with prophecy is God speaking what have you not done that is making prophecy to not manifest in your life what have you done to allow a negative prophecy come to pass in your life something was said you saw it in a dream that the devil wants to oppress you you saw it in a dream that an attack was coming to you and your children you just got up and, and wrote it down usually that's what we do i had a dream 3 22 a.m in that dream i saw knife i saw all of that and you didn't do anything about it until six months after that time watch this it will not come as a physical robber your prayer life goes down your finances goes down all helpers leave you what was working stops working that was the dream prophecy seeking expression in your life like hezekiah there's something you would have done about it hey everybody in this house turn every plate upside down i have seen something that is an evil and we can stay the power away and then you get up and pray there are many things i see that the devil wants to bring upon people upon the ministry upon my life there are people who send me text messages sometimes apostle this is what i've seen pray about the ministry i don't sit down and cross my legs while you are sleeping and snoring i'm awake with god crying and praying lord worship team lord prayer department lord this there must be increase people are coming you are opening up doors prophecy and you say i saw it too i saw that by this time koinonia would have increased yes you saw it but it was engaged is someone getting the teaching this night because we are going to pray you will never see the outstretched arm of god with the assumption that prophecy will work itself out no you have a dream and you see people dying in your family that means there is a word that is bringing death what do you do about it you don't wait till somebody dies say ah and you know I, I the other day i told you you are a witness what kind of witness is that you can get up and fast fasting is powerful oh yes listen to me our our ajebo generation fasting is important for a man's destiny you will never be able to do business with god if you cannot turn your plates upside down there are times you need to sit like Elijah. You write the list of all the nonsense you saw that must change. One by one you are praying. What is this I saw about my wife? What is this I saw about my husband? What is this I saw about my business? I saw an attack. I, I'm sleeping and all of a sudden I have a dream. And in that dream I see chains everywhere. In that dream I see people crying. You don't need an interpretation. The character of scripture shows you that mourning is not associated with glory. So already let the Bible interpret that for you that is trouble. You can call somebody. I pray that you will have a good friend. That when you need to change prophecy he will be available with you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That you have a good friend that you say, please, can you stay awake for three hours with me today? 
I'm sensing the spirit of death over my family. I don't know, but I've been sensing it. And the person says, ah, you know, coincidentally, I had a dream of death. It shouldn't put fear. Your consolation is that the most sure word of prophecy has an ability to superimpose everything planned. And you can get up in the night and agree. And both of you are praying. How do you pray? You engage the truth of scripture. You don't pray and say, God, why now? Where are you? Is it that are you still there? That, that's not prayer. That's just lamentation. You begin to pray when you engage the truth of God's word. I choose life. I'm the head of this home. My children may be too small to choose life, but I stand as a covering. I choose life. Jacos Kapata. When they are in school, I choose life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I've taught you this thing. Listen, if you are married in this place, young or old, you are a man. If you don't go around praying and laying hands on your children, you are not a very good ambassador of this ministry. The children should be sleeping. Don't worry, you are not a father because they serve you plate and you are sitting down. You get up and carry that regalia of priesthood. You are changing negative prophecies. Your child comes back with a result from second position to 12th. The other one from 4th to 18th. You don't just flog them. No! Psalm 112. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord. This is prophecy now. That delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty. This is not might. Lord, you have said my seed shall be mighty. Shekakoska. Manda prakato selekata. While you are speaking that word, there are powers, let me tell you, that reside in the heavenlies. You speak and command your money. He told Job, Has thou commanded thy money? You, are, you, are, you sleep and wake up with a dream. Someone injects you with HIV and tells you this is HIV. You get up and say, And you know, I'm feeling the spot. You get up and see marks on your body, physical marks from a dream. And you sit down and just laugh. Laugh? No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. As mad as he is, he comes near fire, he will move. I'm not that mad. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind we want to dwell under the shadow of your wing over every challenge in my life blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wing blow blow say listen everything you see in your dream is prophecy seeking manifestation good or bad everything you see in your dream in your vision is a prophecy seeking manifestation you can allow it you can change it you can stop it inaction is a disaster to a believer is what you don't want that you will see happen can you open your mouth in one minute and just blast in the spirit Hey, Baranda Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Please look at me.
one of the demands of priesthood get my message on priesthood is that men become men of prayer not just prayer in terms of petition but legislators of spiritual reality anything you sit and watch will happen did you hear what i said listen there was no record of Job praying for himself there was no record of any man praying for Job the devil came through him and through his covering to afflict his family he prayed for his children it's true that he feared God it's true that he ensured evil but that's not the seed for deliverance you must know how to pray and engage listen let me tell you let the devil get used to you not keeping quiet when negative things come don't say i'm not a member of prayer band i'm not a member of this and that the times that we live in let me tell you it requires men with the spirit of issachar he said men who had an understanding of the times otherwise you can confess i shall not die and that will sweep you like a chicken you must have the eyes that see lift your voice and begin to pray I change everything that is not consistent with the counsel of God concerning my life, my family, my finances. Please pray, pray. I change everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Every prophecy that is not of God seeking manifestation through my life I reject you by the power of the Holy Ghost I reject you I speak the word the most sure word of prophecy I shall not die but leave the head not the tail above only not beneath Shabarakatosh Pray. hallelujah hallelujah now listen i'd like you to find someone to agree with you everything god said or you have seen in the spirit that is consistent with god's will and has been hanging by any power of divination within the second heavens lift your voice and cry i command that it must come to pass i war a good warfare in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare the joy the peace the prosperity the blessings the anointing upon my ministry upon my life I declare the powers of the heavens holding everything that belongs to me. I command the release by the power of the word of God. Pray. Few minutes and we are done. You are enforcing prophecy. Shake it, Ebalagata. 
Alléluia. Matthew 18, 18, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Whatsoever thou shalt lose, binding and losing thoughts of allowing and disallowing. Are we together now? Please listen to me. Please listen. Listen. That everything that belongs to me and has been held by any power, it must be released now, not tomorrow. Now, lift your voice and begin to pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray prophecy to manifestation. Pray prophecy to manifestation. I command the relief in the name of Jesus Christ. He paroko shata lekata rakata parakato sekete Alleluia 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 The anointing and the grace on your life is what controls the possibilities around you. Please listen to me. His divine power. There are doors that have refused to open. The doors are not stubborn. The doors are only obedient to the last instruction. And since the anointing speaking to it is not that high, the door will remain obedient to the last instruction. The day a higher authority speaks, that door will open, I assure you. Please don't generalize challenges. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. This is a message of hope for you to hear. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. Even the king could not solve the hunger problem of Samaria. Here comes the prophet. He did not come to solve the problem. He said, ah, okay, I see that there is a situation. Everyone was hungry except the king and the prophet. He said, by this time tomorrow. Then a foolish man said, even if God will open the window of heaven, how will these things be? And he says, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. I believe in the power of God. I've seen what the power of God can do. Stop wasting your time trying to change things physically. Creation has never been disobedient. Creation is the most obedient entity you can find. The money you are looking for is not disobedient. There is an unction that calls it. If it's not there, it is authorized to leave you. Creation is obedient. 
when Noah was ready to open the ark when he opened the ark there was a grace that came on every animal by themselves the Bible never said Noah went to the wilderness to chase them animals with no higher intelligence they found their way to the ark if animals can find their way to the ark why should your destiny helper find it difficult to find you why should breakthrough find it difficult to Noah just stood there and allowed the grace to walk you rest only when the grace walks let me tell you life is hard when you are walking on your own in this kingdom we don't walk with our hands our hands only help us to receive the grace when it comes you enter your sabbath are you getting what i'm saying now the power of god is the spiritual mechanism responsible the signs and wonders that will happen in this place right now the healings and the miracles and the breakthroughs they will happen according as his divine power acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth the information is not that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed with the holy ghost and with power it says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him there are people inside there are people outside there are people standing in such sacrifice waiting for God it will be very wicked to share the grace the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and tell everybody bye bye return back with your challenge no I want you to believe God tonight and insist Lord whatever will come upon me must come upon me whatever must change must change whatever must grow must grow whatever must die must die when there is no expectation it becomes wrong for God to visit you because one of the things that he gave men seven benefits given to man at creation one of it is the right to choose the will that God gave man is a fundamental right it's not for Christians once you are a man you were given the right to choose salvation even at the detriment of your going to hell was left for your choice god will never 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 violate your right to choose i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing i can only advise you choose life i said before you prosperity and poverty i said before you success and failure i said before you spiritual growth and and a low level of spirituality it's up to you to choose i choose life oh, and everything that comes with it i choose speed i choose increase i choose honor i choose dignity i choose open doors i choose open heavens it's a choice and if you're a family man here as for you and your house you can't choose for the whole world but you can choose for your house That the favor of God can rest upon your life tonight. And that within the next one month, things will shift in your life in a way and a manner that will surprise you. If you do not believe these things exist, you are not a Christian. A Christian is not just one who is born again. A Christian is one who has submitted to the ideologies of the kingdom as the ultimate value system of your life. Hallelujah. I'd like you to believe God don't say I've come for miracle service before you see let me tell you the truth my assignment as a man of God is not to invite you my assignment as a man of God is to continue to grow in grace so that the things that would not answer to me in January must answer in June otherwise what is the superiority of growth if the same thing that did not answer to me three months ago refuses to answer now i'm only maintaining my spiritual level i'm not growing there was a time when some spirits did not answer to the apostles they went to jesus asking a question and they said why couldn't we do this he said this kind there is a technology for taking this one out see let me tell you sincerely there is enough grace to wipe the tears in your eyes 
there is enough grace to turn the tables around the anointing works like money i've taught you it can only solve the problems that are lower than it the anointing does not generically solve every problem no no you have to understand this it's very important to know i have let me just still five ten minutes to explain this look at this this is one thousand naira. look at this and if i give you this one thousand naira, it can buy a bottle of water is that true it can even buy you lunch or dinner depending on where you eat but this cannot buy you a car this cannot pay a child's school fees but it is still money so if you want to pay a child's school fees you need more of the same thing to the level that meets the demand every challenge in life has a level of grace attached to it not every grace solves every problem if every grace solves every problem then it doesn't make sense to grow in grace Acts chapter 2 they were filled with the Holy Ghost Acts chapter 4 they were filled with the Holy Ghost again to what end it says that you stretch forth your hands and that miracles signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son there was a dimension of grace requiring a higher level of the anointing Gehazi carried his rod the rod of Elisha and he came and laid it on the dead body the body did not rise but when the prophet came that dead body came back to life every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it I know men of God have prayed for you they are not fake just because you did not get the result it is a reflection of the extent and the level of grace and God grants the privilege of grace and that's why as men of God we must continue to grow in grace so that what we could not solve yesterday we can now solve tomorrow that is the proof of growth are we together now we are going to pray tonight it's going to be a very quick walk in this place I trust God and I believe that in the name of the Lord that things will so change in your life it will surprise you please rise up on your feet lift your voice and begin to mention specifics unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come rise up on your feet and please pray oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah yahweh hey. Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah my life around turn my life around tonight turn my ministry around turn my family around is someone praying turn things around hallelujah praise the Lord we are going to be very fast I minister by the spirit and the goal is for God to solve people's problems and deal with all the issues that are not of God praise the Lord it will be very very fast I'm not sure I may have the time to prophesy tonight because I want us to finish very fast our time is gone but let your heart be open there is a God in heaven please don't be used to your situation if you're a visitor here and you came come insisting that I did not leave where I left to be here only to return back with stories uh-uh 
That is not the God that we serve. Are we together? Hallelujah. There are three people. The power of God is coming on outside. Overflow one. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Please, let's start very quickly. We're going to pray. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. A very strong anointing. Please bring them very quickly and then and then we'll pray. And then we'll pray. When you have them, please bring them very quickly. The Lord is already moving. Listen, let me tell you the truth. I want you to believe, believe that God will step in and turn your life around. Hallelujah. Turn your life around. From the back, right to the center, I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now. From the back, right to the center. From the back, right to the center. Please bring them out right now. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An angel of the Lord is still standing here. I'm still seeing this robe. Right now, it's like smoke just moving across. Right now, from the top to the back. Please bring them out. An end comes. God is stepping in to locate people by His Spirit. Remember the Bible says, Now the Lord is that Spirit. And it says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I command every oppression of darkness. I want to pray now. I see fire in this place. This is what I'm seeing. By the spirit of the... And listen. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ. Responsible for any challenge and any predicament. It must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout jesus jesus i cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Please bring them out quickly. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now, now. close doors over families Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare. Be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three. Across the road. Online, be free now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing, 
I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One, two, three. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, we blot out handwritings. We blot out handwritings. Bring them out. I cause altars, yokes of darkness, ordinances, speaking against the people of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states. The eastern states. Right now God is bringing deliverance. The east, Abia, Anambra state, Enugu state, Epoi state. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state. The power of God is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east. God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow. And I'm seeing it. Go to Benway, Benway State. Right now, I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway. That anointing, you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. release their destinies right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front there are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now bring them out right now by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus the son of the living god things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. 
an entity comes to molest you in the night you go to bed and a strange spirit just comes right now with the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to just count two and at the count of two that fire is coming on people right now one two let that fire come now liberation from ordinances of darkness every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny be free now all those in front here I decree the power that holds you I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let them go now one two three go leave them now release their destinies right now let there be restoration everything that has been stolen from hell I command a restoration by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of grace the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free right now please open your mouth and begin to pray everything that must leave your life insist it must leave your life now the angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, 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 arrows right now, right here. Arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people. In the name of Jesus, Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here right now. Someone in this room, I'm seeing fire just resting on someone. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands. Fire from the front to the back. Everyone under any kind of yoke. Right now as I'm passing. Be free. Be free. Help them please. Out. Now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies now. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. That yoke must let you go now. That yoke must let you go now. I'm passing this road right now. Once I pass you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Let that fire rest upon you right now. Everything that has refused to open. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors. Be open now. Be open now. Now listen, overflow two. I may not touch you, but in the name of Jesus, I pass your role. Except God is not God. If there is anything sitting on your destiny, it must let you go. Right now, be free. Be free. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Open up your gates. Your gates. Gates be open. Destiny be open now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire is resting on this road. Just right there. I'm seeing someone... The oppression of your family is coming to an end right now. I stand by this grace. Karis Kobaru Katosh, help her please. Anyone here, anything that is not of God sitting on your destiny, right now at the count of three, all of you just, I'm seeing fire right now. 
and I'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here God is saying it is over right now I'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you're an usher or not please if anybody's falling close to you so they don't injure themselves hallelujah please shift that lady be free now I'm pointing my hands to her I command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not bring them out every oppression of darkness right to the back i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit be free now be free now bring them out I'm seeing all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now every door that has refused to open I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there are 27 people here the grace for speed is coming upon them I don't know who you are but right now the grace for speed I stand by the anointing from the front to the back right now in the name of Jesus receive that anointing right now speed I release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of Jesus speed in the name of Je hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the Lord is telling me no one rises in your family when they get to a level something brings them down and the Lord is saying I should shift you by prophecy I stand right now I don't know where they are but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 17 Lord I don't know where they are here but in the name of Jesus I declare move to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at 14 people here. You have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. 14 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborahs. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. The call of destiny that is upon you. Oh, prophet of God, may that fire find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah there are 15 people here overflow three 
the spirit of revelation is coming on you unusual insight i don't know where they are but right now i'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people the grace for speed i'll pray it on everybody but the main auditorium there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now please hold them so they don't injure themselves main auditorium i stretch my hands at the count of three like elijah may that grace come one two three receive that grace right now in the main auditorium step into the anointing for speed in the name of jesus overflow three lift your hands every door that has refused to open over your ministry over your life held down by witchcraft in the name that is above all names at the count of three i'm seeing doors open in the spirit one two three let that door be open now be open now be open now the lord wants to avert death over a family this year alone between last year and this year four people have died in your family four people have died and in the name of jesus christ an anointing is coming upon you right now let death be averted now in the name of jesus now listen all of you at overflow three and the extension there whatever must live your life as i'm passing this place please i am releasing my faith open your mouth now and declare lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny i command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of God is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of Jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the Lord is saying it comes to an end that family crisis comes to an end the power of God is resting on someone by my left here right now receive that anointing let it go in Jesus name Be free right now in Jesus' name. The power of God is resting on someone here. Right here, I'm seeing an anointing. Right now. It's a prophetic grace. There's someone here, a prophetic grace is coming upon you. Right now, by my left here. In the name of Jesus, drink of that anointing. Drink of that fountain. May that grace rest upon your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the holy spirit look at me my friend the lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit i lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where i'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people i'm seeing the power of god like a wind just coming on them just this road right now lord where are they I stretch my hands right now right now the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over he's taking away captivity four of you by the spirit of grace let it be over right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here 
marriage does not happen in that family but I'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now the embargo is being broken whoever those people are an anointing is coming on you now for the sake of your family that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now is breaking right now in the name of Jesus please lift your voice and pray everybody pray in the spirit pray in the spirit there is one of you among those standing here there is a call of God upon your life an anointing is coming upon you you will be mightily used by God where is that person spirit of the living God the hand of God just near the gate here the power of God is coming upon that person right now a new dimension in the spirit the eyes that see and the ears that hear may you step into that level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands I stretch my hands over you I command I'm seeing chains all over your body I command those chains to give way now in the name of Jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I cut those chains I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of you right here I'm the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now in the name of Jesus may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now five of you right now these spirits my God my God I'm seeing something living right now release them now release no matter how long release them now it is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the Living God. Come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The Spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have seeing dead people is that true you have dreams and too much yes the lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now i declare in the name of jesus by the power of the hope in the there is there is someone here hi academic delay over your family is breaking right now i just please don't be carried away acting this thing i Passionately to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is, but now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here. None of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates, but nobody at all. It's like the doors of jobs don't open. Right now, you're going to sense fire come up your hands. Real physical fire. And the Lord is saying, by that, help them. By that, that embargo is broken. Lord, I, I declare right now, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the Spirit. Please begin to pray in the Spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray, delay help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside, just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. There is, that is coming upon you, it's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands may that grace begin to work effectually now step into that grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen among all of you from here to here the grace for speed is coming on two people listen those two people will start running now please hold them hold them so they don't enjoy themselves that anointing right now all across two you can control yourself hold them please whether you are an usher, I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing two of you a prophetic anointing you are not prophets but you have been desiring this grace the grace to see from here right to where that lady with the veil is I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands may that anointing find you right now accuracy of sight and ay, 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 ay. Salus kaprakatos keprandigata. Help them, help them, please. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now now in the name of Jesus someone here is it your sister has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that listen where where is she at home what of you come how long who has had three miscarriages? Three miscarriages. Go and tell her she will have a baby girl. That the Lord is giving her a baby girl. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end right now. Let that captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, there's someone here, your family has a court case. Who is that, please? God case don't make sure you don't tell us please they want to kill you because of what what did you do what did you do hold on I have to where are you from where is that I have to pray for you you have bad friends hold on let me talk to you eh you have very bad friends bad friends you need to be delivered this is not even your whole life huh you know what i'm saying right you need to repent eh? listen when i make an altar call run and come because the real salvation is you it's not the issue of court case of this you you have friends that are criminals and we have to pray you hear what i'm saying god is locating you to help you listen let me tell you my dear people i mean when god locates us like this is because he wants to help in. there's somebody here your name is Sarah where is that person Sarah hold on please don't don't let me just prophesy I, I my heart is full God wants to visit people stand up who is Sarah where are you from huh where are you from no no where state of origin I want to pray for you who is Godia yeah. Go dear. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah. I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here. Your mom? come I'm seeing that down in Portacot but, uh, yes I Portacot you came from Portacot go on I'm going to pray do I know you I've never seen you I want to pray for you God is turning your situation this as you're standing let your heart be open your people may be far don't ever think I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you to let you know that you must not make it inside anywhere are we together the power of god is going to come upon you a loud shout that will be the person i'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here it's not something you can stand this is a sign and a wonder from the spirit of god that's not the shout the shout is coming it's a loud shout please bring the person when that happens that's the shout bring the person in the name of jesus christ 
my friend lift your hands Jesus come do you what are you doing what do you do of God your own church you are assisting someone you came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother but you came to take fire stand up why you came listen to me you are going to go back and you will step into a diamond signs and wonders that will surprise you Sarah in the name that is above all names every oppression over your family I come against it right now I'm still hearing that name Godia who is that hold on please hold on where are you from huh you are from Kat Saminaka hold on please your sister blood sister same father same mother you've been praying for God to locate you it's okay you hi the spirit of death is over your family huh? that's what I'm saying I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people they will come and they are calling you sometimes they are saying you should eat together this is the spirit of death coming on the family but in the name of Jesus I use them as a point of contact if there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you help her I cut spirit now name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family money does not stay in your house no matter what happens once resources enter you love God but resources something must happen either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame and it's resting on at least five people and the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now I stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and begin to pray my friend your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can an end comes now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and pray in the spirit everyone my dear look at me I command that spirit to leave you now of darkness must let you go in Jesus name lift your voice and pray everyone please pray pray in the spirit pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit everyone madam help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it I command everything that is not of God to let you go now release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oppression leaves right now someone here there is a spirit that has oppressed your family it must go now I command that devil of darkness help her please that spirit must leave now in the name of Jesus please everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit God is visiting us right now one media person here there is an anointing resting on someone the Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God captivity coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus let it end now by the Spirit of the Living God let it end now in the name of Jesus my friend I'm seeing what what looks like a towel on you and the Lord is wiping away infirmity in the name of Jesus infirmity let it go right now please make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the spirit of death there is a family here that spirit must go now the spirit of death release them now in the name of Jesus release them now release them now the spirit of death there will be no obituary I command that devil to go now madam excuse me madam look at me come are you a man of God come you too please come 
I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me, from Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're in ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? Because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer. Is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I'm, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer, them. Sir. Jennifer, is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRA. No, no, where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. Yes. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you. Does Amen. it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Well, this boy has a great destiny. Forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened. I want to pray for you. The Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 Yes, I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I come from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Oh, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been seeing you in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come so that show me you will not get her. She's asking for contract. That is contract that she's seeking for. She... Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter, but it's you. First, that back pain. Jesus. Huh? That back pain that you have. You get up in the morning and there's severe back pain. That back pain will leave you now. That's number one. Number two, the dead people you see in your dream. Huh? Sometimes you go to bed and you see dead people, people who have died, but they are alive talking to you. I need to pray for you. And then number three, God is going to visit your daughter. Tell her the month of August is a month of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? Sir? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Uh, uh, Dambo International. Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Yes, sir. Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did you apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing ladies. that they are going to give you a job. Huh? I will pray for you, sir. Because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you. And that grace is going to come and God will shift you to a dimension. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one? Yes, sir. I have one now. No, hold on. Don't be embarrassed, eh? I'm seeing one child, then the vision changes, and I'm seeing two again. Ah, huh? you have one, you have two. What is the mystery? Explain. Before I married her, I have a son outside. Okay, before you married her, you have a child. The, yes, sir. Okay, I want to pray. Don't, don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace. All the children that came out from you are great children you understand please don't fight that child there eh? madam you hear what i'm telling you yes 
I know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come, but may God grant you the grace to manage things well. Sir, there is a grace of wealth that is upon you. Please look at me. It looks like you are a teacher, but your destiny is not a teacher. You are a real kingdom financier, and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you. Please look at me. You see this woman? She's a good woman. Don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face to make it look as if this is an evil woman. And don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch. In the name of Jesus, I tell you, God gave you a good woman. She's a good woman. Madam, you are a good woman. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for you, sir. Please hold my hands. In the name that is above all names, I open up every closed door over your life and destiny. I shift you to that realm of wealth in Jesus' name. The person, look up please. The person who comes to molest you when you sleep, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus, every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever. In the name of Jesus. I don't know why, why are they here. Who is Sarah? Are you married? We are no more together. Huh? I have two children, but we are not together with you. You are father. not together with your husband. Yes. Were you married? No. This is what I'm saying. Come. You need to be delivered, eh? If not, I'm seeing four children. You will add two more, and yet you are not married. I'm not. I hope you are not feeling bad. I hope you are not embarrassed. God reveals so that he can redeem her. Eh? You are not a bad woman. You are not an immoral woman. It's a spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Come, let me pray for you. Aye. The power of God is coming on one of you here. One of you standing here now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on one right now. It's not something you can resist. I'm, this, I'm seeing it in the spirit that the power of God is going to come upon one of you. And when that happens, then I'm going to prophesy to that one person. Right now, it's an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here. And the Lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you. Taking away sickness. My dear, in the name of Jesus, is it the same man that has the children? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why doesn't he want to marry you? He didn't pay for my dowry. He didn't pay for your dowry? Yes. Go and tell him that I said he should pay for your dowry. Huh? Dowry is not building project. He should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance. Please. At this level, it's no longer about their comfort. The children need a father. May God grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing written in the air, polygamy. God is breaking that spirit now. No, no, no. Just please, just keep quiet. I'm ministering. There is a spirit of polygamy. Everybody in that family, you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone. That anointing is locating people right now to break the spirit. It's a covenant. It's not a desire. Coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble. Right now, that spirit, please help them. In the name of Jesus, inside, outside, everywhere, the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now. The spirit of polygamy is being broken right now. Sir, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Port Harcourt, what do you do? Do business. You do business. But things are not going well. Yes, huh? If I don't pray for you, I'm seeing you in the court because of money, debt. Huh? I hope you're not embarrassed. You came here so that I pray for you. What are you trusting God for? I'm trusting God for breakthrough in my business. Breakthrough in your business. First, your... My wife, uh, I've listened to your tape for about seven days now and the last dream she had, you came to pray for her and she insisted that you come through the night today. I will pray for you. More than business breakthrough, sir, is your relationship with God. Do you understand? Please don't be embarrassed, but your relationship with God. In this kingdom, we prosper as our souls prosper, not at the detriment of our soul. So the, the, there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life. I pray that God will cause your heart to love him more than money in the name of Jesus and that in so doing, he will bless you and lift you. I decree and declare, I don't know why all of you came, but in the name of Jesus, I declare 
that everything that is not of God leaves you right now. Where is this lady from? Come, where are you from? I'm from Nesara Ostage. You are from where? Nesara. How many are you? I'm from extended family. We are many. Plenty. You are plenty. Yes. You don't know how many. Yes, but oh. in my mother's side, we are eight. Two have gone. We are six now. Are you married? No. The man coming around your life, I drive him from your life now and forever. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The man that I'm seeing, I drive him in the name of Jesus, the Son Amen. of the Living God. He will go back and you'll be surprised. He will tell you there's no time. He cannot call you. He's busy. Just know that God drove him from your life to save you from trouble. Are you ready for a child now? So you have to be careful. Huh? I send him again in the name of Jesus Christ before he destroys your innocent life. What do you do? I'm learning salon. Huh? I'm learning salon. You are, I'm not here. I'm Lenny Sanuwo. Hairdressing. Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. Come. Huh? I place favor on your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision. I'm looking at people, but I'm not seeing a face. And this is not the first time I see these kinds of vision. The moment I see these kind of things is a sign that you know the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people the bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of there there is a way that you are good but it's like people continue to misunderstand you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i'm seeing an anointing coming on those people that veil that covers your face always putting you in trouble I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. Now please listen very carefully. God is touching everyone. Every single one under the sound of my voice. Three things will happen right now. Number one, make sure you are here with your prayer request. If you're not here with it, please pen down. It's an act of faith very quickly. What you're trusting God for, lift it up. Let the ushers have it. Number two, we're going to minister to the sick right now. We'll do it very, very fast. And then I'll pray on it and we'll prophesy. Open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you're doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction, please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And, but then aside from that, um, overflow one, please listen. Listen. From the start of overflow two, that means the end of CGC, and inside here that's overflow two um overflow three is from the end of cgc down to second equa okay you are overflow two b let's call it two b are we together then the overflow from the beginning of this fence down right down there we'll call you overflow two c please listen then there's overflow three i don't know if you understand what i'm saying this is the main auditorium. This is overflow one. This is overflow two. Then from this place down to second equa is overflow two B. From that same place down is overflow two C. So that, so that you would know if you are trusting God, no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb, I'll pray for you. But then all who are in here, overflow one, I mean overflow here, please, you're trusting God for healing. Come stand here. Overflow one, come and stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow two, stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow two A. Please create a space for them there. Overflow two A, create a space for them there. And then overflow two C, stand in front of your projector stand. And then overflow three, you can stand in, um, in front of your projector stand. Those online, connect by faith. And then we'll pray we'll pray with you we're going to do this very fast we thank god there are many hands today 
and while they minister to you i would like you to believe god for a miracle you are a man of god you are a ministry here open up your heart and connect you are trusting god for the grace for signs wonders make sure that you connect the worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that and concurrently while that is happening please make sure you submit your prayer request everyone make sure you pen down your prayer request and then we are going to pray on it and let the god of heaven visit us right now in the name of jesus praise the lord um Ejimi and promise and bishop manasseh Ejimi and promise and bishop manasseh will do overflow three there are quite a number of people there overflow three um benga will do overflow two overflow two pastor alpha and ima you do overflow one um overflow one we need a way of reaching overflow kenny kenny will do overflow 2b overflow 2b will do overflow 2b and then isaac isaac in media you do overflow 2c let's make it that way praise the lord father we stand under this corporate grace and we decree and declare in the name of jesus that as we minister to everyone across let your healing power touch deliver set free in the name of jesus do this and be glorified even by the power of the holy spirit please we'll do it very very fast and while you are seated make sure you are agreeing releasing your faith in the name of jesus madam you lift lift your hands you this woman no the one wearing blue and white yes lift your hand i'm seeing oil coming on your head and the lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you this is what i'm seeing an anointing is coming on you right now and the lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life in the name of jesus father let there be miracles signs wonders in the name of jesus christ amen Let's stretch your hands to the prayer request. Begin to pray in the spirit. Lord, you are the God that answers prayers. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Pray over these requests. He said, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this place. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I decree and I declare. I prophesy, I proclaim by the spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people a representation of their hunger when the lord turned again the captivity of zion are you praying decree and declare that everything written here in the name of jesus will become a testimony everything written here we invoke the power of the holy ghost upon every request here supernatural deliveries terminations of delay open doors new spiritual dimensions in the name of jesus admissions graduations jobs marriages children restoration advancement promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. These that are brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ listen I want you to understand that this is not a ritual this is a mystery are we together now there are all kinds of testimonies that have come I can prophesy and there is so much I can be limited I cannot discern everybody's expectation 
but this is a representation of your hunger is a representation of your tears and let me tell you this please don't get familiar with this this is not some some spiritual thing just for the fun of it there is power in what we are doing is guided by understanding is guided by an anointing and God has a covenant is protected by his jealousy in the name of Jesus Paul said for this cause I Paul bow my knees before the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you in the name of Jesus I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus every request here that is a death sentence cancer hiv and any kind of incurable disease we turn it around right now in the name of jesus every impossible situation represented here may the god of wonders arise tonight in the name of jesus and do wonders by the power of the holy ghost for those of you who have submitted these requests on behalf of your loved ones I declare may the angel of God's presence these angels that do not know time and distance may they go to your various homes and to your loved ones and best supernatural solutions in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare that you remain above this challenge forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life we are entering the second half of the year it says revive thy work O God in the midst of the year I decree and declare every spiritual weariness every prayerlessness it dies right now in the name of Jesus passion for the things of the spirit like never before hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus I declare prayer fire like never before let it rest upon your life now I decree and declare an appetite for God and the things of God I declare you receive it right now I pray over your life every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted you have sought counsel it has refused to change in the name that is above all names I decree and declare by this time next month return with your testimony by this time next month return with your testimony please believe it don't just shout amen believe it I come against patterns you have seen it in others you saw it in your father you saw it in your loved ones you saw it in your siblings now it's beginning to happen by the blood of the eternal covenant I cancel every pattern now I cancel every pattern now it works for everybody until it gets to your turn then something happens you will see it but you never possess it I declare right now that spirit that makes you to see things and never step into it is caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven everything that was given to you in the realm of the spirit already I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead this month coming it must enter your hands I declare that it must enter your hands there are families where is the women that feed the men have you seen such families no matter how hard-working the men are they never feed the family they get up in the morning and play draft from morning till night while the women go to fend it's an anomaly I declare by the Spirit of God I'm praying for the men now the grace for establishment and the grace to be satisfied early receive that anointing right now 
He says, satisfy me early. I'm saying it again. Everybody here who is a man, and it looks like the devil wants you to depend on people for the rest of your life. I decree and declare, like Jacob, Laban must let you go in the name of Jesus. I pray for every Mordecai here. You have been good to others. You have been good to kings. Your records have been written, but you have not been rewarded. In this season, by the Spirit of God, we open a book of remembrance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Anyone here called jobless by the God of heaven, between now and the next three months, like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom, I decree and declare jobs that will be consolations to your years of pain. May my God give it to you. Every dying business, hear the word of the Lord. I don't care what has happened by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. I speak to you, come back to life now. Come back to life now. Everyone who is in ministry here, no matter what level there are dimensions, I pray for you. You will go back to your various churches, fellowships and assemblies and a dimension of fire, a dimension of insight you have never seen, receive in the name of Jesus. Everyone here called barren by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus according to the time of life return with your children these are not empty prophecies believe them they are backed up by the jealousy of God they will come to pass in the name of Jesus I don't know where the helpers of your destiny are but in the name of Jesus every man who must arise in this season for your sake to favor you wherever they are around this globe by the spirit of grace i call them to your life now i call them to your life now the bible says that strangers shall feed your flock it says your gates shall be open continually it shall not be shut day nor night that you will receive the forces of the gentiles people you do not know i compel them to be interested in your lifting in the name of jesus christ i prayed a prayer like this one time and one of us god just opened a door and a bank met him to sell a property for them worth 450 million naira listen it doesn't take time it doesn't take time there is the creative dimension of prophecy that can order things in your life every area of struggle i stand by the god of heaven who is called ebenezer the god of jeshuron in the name of jesus receive help from the lord I want to pray for people who have ideas and have projects but it seems to never go out of the book you have ideas you have projects it's just to connect you with somebody who has the interest nobody helps you on their own they are called by prophecy in the name of Jesus right now I connect your ideas to your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I forgot to pray for those who are in various institutions writing their exams I know that many people had started their exams some have written and the honest truth is that some of you have written nonsense you need the mercy of God in the name that is above all names much more than what you have written in the name of Jesus 
may the mercy of God show up in your exam. There is a dimension of finances that comes by prophecy. Please pay attention. Our time is gone, but I want to speak this into your life. There are people who are not very smart. The prophetic dimension is not a license to not be valuable. The prophetic dimension is a system of advantage to bridge tragedy while you learn. It's a system of God's mercy. It would be foolish to believe that wealth is only by principles. There are laws and there are irrefutable principles that make for the foundation. But there is the ordinance of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the God who has helped me by His grace, the God who has helped this ministry, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit between now and the end of July may your finances turn around in a way that will surprise you may your finances turn around in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are under any kind of project building project whatever it is the hand that started that project is the same hand that must finish that project in the name of jesus christ everyone here due for promotion but has been kept because of the wickedness and the sentiments of men go back into your next level in the mighty name of jesus christ finally i want to pray for you honor is the ability to discern to celebrate and to reward a man for his uniqueness it's not enough for your value to be discerned you must live a rewarded life you will be frustrated if you do not live a rewarded life i pray for you the eyes that can perceive and can discern your value i connect you to those eyes in the name of jesus Any pit you have found yourself in, I must pray this. Financially, whatever it is, you have found yourself in a situation where only God can bring you out. May that God you believe in bring you out of it now. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want to prophesy again the grace for this year's prophetic word. The Lord declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Every part of that prophecy that is yet to speak in your life, by the force of right words and by the power of the, no the name that is above all names, I declare to you, may your life experience extraordinary fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ may you return with testimonies some of you this night before you get to your homes your phones you will see text messages that are full of wonders in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise we bless you because you have honored this house you have made it a place of answers you have made it a place of strange testimonies let everything that you have done tonight by your spirit return as testimonies let it not just be a ceremony in the name of jesus we declare by the spirit of the christ testimonies in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen now very quickly i will make an altar call and then we'll take a few very important announcements and we're done I apologize our time is gone you are here in this place please let's minimize movement especially outside you are here and you are saying apostle i've not given my heart to the lord jesus christ i need to encounter his salvation and his mercy please listen 
or you are here you are saying man of god i've seen the wonders i once gave my heart to the lord but as it is right now i need mercy i need grace i need to start afresh you are here inside overflow one two three and all the other annexes i want to give you five minutes you want to make it right with jesus wherever you are i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand right here it will be my joy to lead you to jesus christ don't wait for someone be the first i'll count one to five wherever you are please start running clear the way for them please outside one quickly quickly please if you're coming run quickly run to jesus two win that war today win that war today win that war today the bible says in the day that you hear his voice do not harden your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness three someone is still coming apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them very quickly join them very quickly i expect people to come from outside please clear the way for those coming from outside clear the way for those coming from outside overflow one two three if you're coming don't be sluggish run very quickly we're out of time run quickly run quickly we're out of time apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed and afraid of my colleagues and contemporaries jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father come quickly come quickly come quickly come quickly give them a big god bless you whilst they come takes a lot of courage but win that war young and old run to jesus the bible says ye must be born again <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord i want to salute all of you thank you so much for coming to make this decision lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me you're not reciting a poem this is from the depth of your heart jesus is here say after me lord jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I have seen your wonders and I declare that I need you this night I declare that you are my Lord you are my Savior you are my King I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life. I am a child of God. I'm changed forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for. I thank you because when you hung on that cross, they were worth your blood. They were worth the tears. They were worth the death. I pray in the name of Jesus, according to scripture, your sins are forgiven. And the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare forever you go from glory to glory even by the spirit of god everything that is not of god i come against it right now the grace to live victorious is released upon you from today you go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate you i salute you very quickly everyone in concert i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands and you have a few people just welcome you on our behalf.